Uh, hello, everyone, and welcome. Thank you for joining us for today's MOOC session on Common Repository Setup in Tricentis Tosca. I'm Sanal Nair here at Tricentis, and I'll be hosting today's MOOC session. Our MOOCs give us the opportunity to share what's important to us, software test automation, risk reduction, and how Tricentis can help your organization accelerate business innovation. We are pleased to have Rohan Bansod, Tricentis consultant, who is part of the consulting team here with us. We will discuss how to set up Oracle Common Repository, user management, and check-in and check-out mechanism. Some of you who join our MOOCs on a regular basis will have heard all of this many times, but since there are some people joining us for the first time, please allow me to talk about our housekeeping rules. All participants will be muted during the session as there are hundreds of you currently attending. Obviously, everyone would be confusing and hard to follow. There is a control panel at the bottom of your screen with apps you can toggle on or off. Key ones being the Q&A, Twitter, Share, and the media player. Please note, if you pause, the media player will disappear. So don't do that. Even though you're all muted and we do encourage you to ask questions during the session, please use the before mentioned Q&A box. There will be also a formal Q&A session at the end of the MOOC session. Therefore, we will hold the most interesting questions for the Q&A so that every one of you can profit from the answers. We will, however, answer as many questions as possible during the session, but please be aware that questions that are related to the current topics will be only covered. Please keep in mind that given the number of attendees, we might not be able to answer all of your questions during the session. Lastly, let me state that this session will be recorded and will be shared on our website later this week. Now, without uh, taking much of your time, I would like to pass it over to Rohan. Welcome, Rohan. Thank you, Sadar, for the introduction. And I welcome everyone to today's MOOC session. Today's MOOC is about how to set up Oracle Common Repository in Tosca. The basic idea of the MOOC is we will be having first some conceptual things and then we will move towards the actual demo. And the last section will be the Q&A session. So today's agenda will be like this. First, we will see what is Common Repository in Tosca. Second, we will see that how is the architecture of Common Repository in Tosca. Third, we will move to the demo of creating the Oracle Database Repository in Tosca. And fourth, the Q&A session. In this, we will see what do we actually mean by a common repository and why there is a need of a common repository in Tosca. So let's move to the first point. Generally, repository refers to a central place where data is stored and maintained. A repository can be a location that is directly accessible to the user without having to travel across a network. A repository in Tosca is referred to build the artifacts in Tosca Commander. There are two types of repositories, local and remote repository. In Tosca, the local and remote repositories are structured the same way so that scripts can be easily run on either side. The local repository refers to the artifacts built by you on your own local system. And the remote repositories may be internal repositories set up on HTTP or HTTPS database server within your organization and used to share the artifacts between the development team, business analysis and the testing team. In Tosca, for common repository, we refer it as a multi-user environment. Next, we will see why there is a need of common repository in Tosca. When we talk about a common repository, then the first advantage we get is that when you create a new automation project, the first benefit is that you can take advantage of test cases or libraries that were created earlier by your colleague. As you make updates to those, the automation remains stable because it points to the same source. Second, we can get early feedback. 
As more teams move towards continuous integration and deployment, they need more test automation to get the deploys continuous. This gives them much earlier feedback on the artifacts that they wanted to execute and put the team a step closer to its continuous deployment goals. Third, automation testers get involved in the early stage. Just as the developers help more with the automation and application code are correlated, it's also easier for automation tester to help more with execution result proof when they execute the test cases and it will happen when they are comfortable with the shared repository with the developer or the business team. And the last, application becomes more testable in a short period of time. As tester become more comfortable running the smoke test or the sanity test using shared repository and testing scenarios, then most of the scenarios get covered into the business logic layer. There is a benefit for all. Testing team no longer have to deal with an application that's not testable and time cycle also reduces for automation as well as for the deployment team. So this is how the architecture of the common repository in Tosca is represented. The first section we have here is the license server. Second, we have the Tosca commander. Third, we have the common repository. Fourth, we have a Tosca workspace. And the last is the Active Directory. Now let us understand these components one by one and what they actually mean and what is their job. First, License Server. A Tosca License Server is a centralized computer software system which provides access tokens to the client computers in order to enable license software of Tosca to run on them. It is the job of a License Server to determine and control the number of copies of a license permitted to be used based on the license entitlement that an organization owns. Second, Tosca Commander. Tosca Commander is a core backbone which is used to enable easy test creation, management, test execution and analysis of the test scripts which are created. Third, Common Repository. We have already discussed what is the role of common repository in this? So we'll skip that. Fourth, Tosca Workspace. Tosca Workspace is provided to perform various tasks such as creation of test cases, modules, test case design, execution of test cases, etc. Tosca Workspace has a more user friendly interface to work with. And the last, Active Directory. Active Directory is a directory service that Microsoft developed for the Windows domain networks. It is included in the most Windows Server operating system as a set of processes and services. Before moving to the actual demo, there are some prerequisites which are required if you want to create an Oracle Database Common Repository. These prerequisites are Oracle Database must be installed and configured properly in the client machine or the server. TOS server should be installed and configured. Third, to create a workspace and connect it to a Oracle Common Repository, user needs to install the ODP.NET driver. The ODP.NET driver should be of the same version as of the Oracle database. For this demo, I have used the ODP.NET version 2.x for this and the Oracle data provider must be registered in the GAG by using the ORA Pro V config.exe file. Now let's move to the actual demonstration of how to create an Oracle Common Repository in Tosca. For this, we will require a Oracle server in which we can create the users. Now I will just log in to the Oracle database. For this demo, I have used Oracle Database XE 11.2. Now we will have to create a user in this server to get access to the database. Now I will click on storage. We will log in here. Now I will go to Application Express. 
Here it will ask to create a database user. Here we need to fill the details which are mandatory for the workspace to be get created for that user. Now I will click on create workspace. As you can see there is a success message at the top that the workspace has been created for the user. Now I will just close this. I will close this. Now I will open the Oracle SQL developer to create a DB. So this is the welcome home page of the Oracle SQL developer. Let's create a new database here. I will click on new connection. I will give here the connection name as Oracle Common Repository. Here in the username and password, we will enter the username which we have created just a while ago in a Oracle server. I will enter the password. And now I will click on test connection to see whether the connection with the server is happening or not. At the left bottom of the window, you can see the status as success. It means that we have successfully connected to the Oracle database server. Now I will click on connect. Beneath connections, you can see that a database with the name Oracle Common Repository has been created. Now in the query builder, we will execute the SQL script which is provided by Tricentis at the time of Tosca Commander installation. For that we need to go to C Program Files 86 Tricentis Tosca Test Suite SQL Oracle. Here we will take the first query create tables. I will copy this. And now I will enter this in this query builder. Now I will click on run script. As you can see the query is running and it's creating the table schema for Tosca commander to understand from where the data needs to be fetched and updated. So let's see where the tables are getting created. I will click on tables. As you can see, the tables has been created here. In addition to this, the Oracle server must have a user who has the following access rights to all the tables of the common repository, such as select query, insert query, update query, and delete query. Drop rights are needed if you want to delete a schema in the database. So this is how a database is created and the table query is run in it. Now let's go to Tosca and see how the common repository setup of Oracle is done there. For creating of common repository in Tosca, we need to go to project new. Here it will open a small window where it will ask for the creation of new common repository or workspace. First we will select the type of repository. Tricentis provides 
four types of repository collection. The first one is SQLite, second one is Oracle, third is MS SQL Server, and fourth is DB2. For this demo, we will select Oracle as a common repository. As you can see, here use existing repository checkbox is there. We have to uncheck that as we are creating a new common repository of Oracle. In the connection stream, we need to specify the data source, the user ID and the password. The data source will be the Oracle database server. I will enter the data source. In this case, the data source is my local system. If you have the Oracle database server set up at different location, then we need to give the IP address of that machine. We also need to specify the domain here. In user ID, I will enter the user which we have created for the database, which is Tosca. I will enter the password. Now I will click on test connection whether a connection from a Tosca commander to the Oracle database is, is happening or not. As you can see, it has shown a message the connection is valid means everything is fine. Create new workspace. It will ask where you want to create your workspace. By default, it's C Tosca Projects Tosca Workspace. You can change the location of the workspace where you want to save it by clicking on this. Now I will here need to give the name of the new common repository which we are creating. There is another checkbox here. If you enable this checkbox, Tosca automatically provides you with the standard.tc file in the field within. Alternately, you can also select any subsets from a directory via this button. Now I will click on OK. As you can see that the process of workspace creation has been completed. At the right bottom you can see that the common repository has been successfully created and the message is shown. By default Tricentis provides with the username as admin and there is no password for this. I will click on login. So this is how the Tosca Commander UI interface looks like. When you create a common repository, we need to take care of one more thing which is synchronization. To keep the local repository in sync with the common repository, Tosca transfers data between those two. This synchronization is triggered by many different tasks in the Tosca Commander. For example, update all, check in all, check out and save. All these tasks consider the amount of objects that have to be synchronized with the common repository. That means the more number of objects in the local workspace at time consuming it will take to run any of these tasks. Therefore the goal for the local workspace shall be keep it as small as possible. To do this the following mechanism can help us to improve the performance of the local workspace and common workspace as well. We can include or exclude the object from synchronization. Include and exclude from synchronization is the easiest task to provide and reduce the amount of objects that get considered during synchronization in the common repository. Every object that is excluded from synchronization will not be taken into consideration when the repositories get synchronized. And the second is to apply synchronization policies. Synchronization policies gives the opportunities to exclude objects by default. 
the policy is a change on an object or the whole tree and will be committed in the common repository. Those objects are then by default excluded for the workspace. For common repository, you can create multiple users to use this workspace. Now let us see how to create a users in common repository. For this, we have to go to projects. Here we have a tab of user management. In this, we have the admin group and all users. To create a user, right click on all users. Here you have the option of create user. I will click on that. I will give it a name as Cycle User. In addition to this, you can specify the level of expertise this user. On this user, you can also specify passwords. Now, how to set up the password? Just right click on this Oracle user. Set password option is there. I will click on that. I will enter the password. I will click on OK. Again, we have to repeat the same password here. Again, click on OK. By doing this, we have now set up a password for this Oracle user. Tricentis also provides the check-in and check-out mechanism. At the top, in this ribbon, you can see the check-in all, check-out, check-out tree and update all option are there. If you are working in a common repository. Checkout is understood as the reserving of logical group units such as test cases, modules, execution list for the exclusive use of the current user. The required group of elements has to be checked in or checked out of the common repository for administration and consolidation of changes. During this process, the elements are marked with a sign that shows the checked out state of the other user. Unlike checkout, checkout tree checkouts all the sub elements of the selected element or object. Now we will see how the checkout tree works. Select the tree containing the elements you want to check out. Now I will go to test cases. By default, it's showing a green symbols. This means that after a successful checkout, the selected group of element or object is exclusively reserved to be edited by the current user. You must be thinking that the test cases folder has a green color while the standard module example and virtual folder have a white color. This is because that all the new elements created under this test cases folder from here will have a white symbol and can be checked in just right click new folder. You can see whichever elements which we are creating inside it, it will have a white symbol. Now we will see how check in all works. All elements currently checked out by the users are marked by a green symbol. So to update the changes in the common repository, user has to use this option check in all. I will click on this. After clicking on check in all, you can see the green and the white symbol from the test cases folder has been disappeared. This means that whatever changes we have made in the workspace will get updated in a common repository. Now we will be creating a new workspace with the Oracle user. For this, I will go to projects, close workspace. Now we are out of our Oracle common repository and now we will create a new workspace here. What are the steps for creating a new workspace? Select the option project, new, here define the type of repository you want. For our demo, we have the oracle and now we will enter the connection string here. The same which we used for the common repository. Now I will click on test connection. The connection is valid. Now I will give your the workspace name. I 
At the bottom, you can see that one additional checkbox is there of create slim workspace. If you hover on it, it will show us the data with the high data volume will not be transferred to the common repository in order to speed up the workspace function. I will check that and I will click on OK. The local workspace is successfully created. Here in the username field, I will enter Oracle user. And here I will enter the password which was set for this user. And click on login. You can see we have successfully logged in to the workspace. As you have noticed that while entering the connection string, we have specified the data source, user ID and password which was used by the admin to first create the common repository. If the admin do not want to share the data source, user ID and password, do not want to share with the user group. The first thing he needs to do is log in with another user which do not have admin rights. In this case, we are the Oracle user. We will go to projects, info. Here you will see from which user we have logged in and the type of workspace we are using and the common repository type is also mentioned here. Common repository type is Oracle and the connection is in the random format. This connection string can be shared with the other non-admin user to log in to the same repository. Now I will go to the test case design section. I will right click here and do a checkout. I will create a new test sheet. And I will just click on save. Here I will not do a check in all. So let's see what happens if I don't do a check in all here. I will just click on project and close. It will show me a pop up where it will ask for me do you want to check in all the objects before closing the workspace or not. For now I am clicking on no. Now again I will go to the common repository and log in with the admin access rights. The first thing we need to keep in mind that whenever you log in in the common workspace, first thing we do is update all. I will do update all. By doing this, all the artifacts which are created by different users will get in sync with the common repository and will show to the every user. Now I will go to the test case design section. You can see here that it's marked in red. What does it mean? It means that other person has checked out this particular object. So how can find the details of that user? Just go to that object, right click, show checkout details. It will show a pop-up and all the information available in the common repository is read and displayed in a dialog box. It consists name of the object checked out, time of checkout, Tosca commander user, Microsoft Windows user and the name or machine from which the object has been checked out. I will click on OK. If an administrator wants to forcefully revoke the checkout, he can do that. For that, we need to be logged in in the workspace with the admin access. The change is made by the user who has already checked out on this particular object will not be transferred to the repository and the sub elements will not be checked in. How to do the revoke checkout? Just right click on this revoke checkout. It will show pop up that all the changes in one object will be discarded means whatever changes the Oracle user has made will not be saved. I will click on OK. Now the red symbol has disappeared. This means no user is currently having access to this particular folder. And now the folder is available to other users for the use. Tricentis also provides to get a backup of your current project. For this you need to log in with the admin user. For taking a backup what are the steps? Go to Projects, Info. 
Here you can see the backup option is there. I will click on that. In this dialog box, select a directory where the backup should be stored. It will generate a file for the backup with the extension .tdp. I will select desktop, new folder. I will click on OK. So it is now creating a backup file for me. At the bottom left, you can see the backup db repository has been finished. Let's check the file is present there or not. Let's see how the file looks like. Here you can see on the desktop in the new folder where I have given the directory where the backup should be stored is having Oracle common repository dump and the extension is tdp file. This is how a backup can be taken. Similarly, if you want to restore an existing project, that also can be done here. Now I will close this workspace. While restoring a project, there should be no workspace open in our Tosca commander. Go to projects, info and here you can see restore a backup into the common repository option is enabled and all other objects are disabled. I will click on restore. It will show a warning message. I will click on OK. I will click on desktop, new folder, Oracle common repository and now I will click on open. It will ask for the connection parameters. Here in type I will select the type of repository we have created Oracle. I will specify the connection string. user id and the password. I will click on test. The connection is valid. I will click on ok. Now it has shown a successful message that repository was restored. I will click on ok. This is how we create a common repository of Oracle database in Tosca. That's all for the demonstration and now let's go the q and session because answer exists only to questions. Thank you. Uh, thank you Rohan for that great presentation. We have some great questions coming in from the audience. Uh, feel free to keep them sending them in. We will answer as many as we have time for. Here is the first question. Is it compulsory to add domain in the data source while creation of common repository? It's mandatory to add the domain in the data source as it will point to the Oracle server where it's hosted. Next question. Is it possible to create common repository on different system as my Oracle database is installed on a different system? Yes, we can create common repository on different system, but the Oracle database and the common repository must be in the same network. All right. Uh, the next question is what are the rights that are required to be given to a database user or a database admin user? Yeah, for this question, the answer is the access rights can be of create and alter uh, are required for the admin user. The second will be the Oracle server must have a user who has the access rights to all the tables of the common repository to modify them. And the drop rights are required if you want to delete your schema from your repository. Next, we have a great question. Uh, does Tosca support common repository versioning? Yes, we do support common repository versioning. All right. Uh, the next question is, uh, does Tosca support Hadoop database common repository? Uh, no, Sanal. For now, we do not support Hadoop database for the common repository setup. All right. Uh, in the interest of time, we have the last question. Do we need to share and create a separate database for TDM or it can be included in the existing common repository? Yeah, it depends on the project need and the project manager. Either you want to create a separate database repository for TDM or you can use the same repository. Both way works for us. Thank you Rohan for answering all the questions. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for participating. Please feel free to continue the conversation online by following us on Twitter or on LinkedIn. 
You can also reach us through our website at www.vicentis.com. Thanks again for joining this MOOC session. And we hope you enjoyed the session. The recording of this uh, session will be made available next week. Thanks again and have a great rest of the week.